Hospitals throughout Maine are feeling the surge of coronavirus. Thursday, the CDC is reporting 85 people are hospitalized with COVID-related illness. 30 patients are in the ICU and 10 are on ventilators statewide. Last Friday, that number stood at 66 hospitalizations. We look at what goes on around the country and we know that even with those reserves that we have, we could become overwhelmed. Joan Boomsma is the chief medical officer of Maine Health, the state's largest hospital network that includes Maine Medical Center. Since the early days of the pandemic, the system has built up inventory of PPE, testing and secured additional ventilators. Safety protocols to protect patients and staff are in place. Time-sensitive procedures and care for medical issues like diabetes and heart disease will be a priority even if cases continue to rise. We've not yet had to scale back on any elective uh, procedures. Um, but, you know, if, if we needed to, as soon as next week, we could do that, we think, in a safe way. More FDA-approved treatments are now available for patients fighting COVID. Hospitals, including Central Maine Medical Center, will soon receive monoclonal antibodies for COVID-19 treatment from the feds. Dr. John Alexander, the chief medical officer of Central Maine Healthcare, says the therapy treats mild to moderate symptoms and could reduce the strain on key hospital resources. Really, the idea is to try to treat people at high risk before they have to be hospitalized. And at Northern Light Eastern Maine Medical Center, there are no plans to cancel elective procedures, but the system is ready to shift to more telehealth visits if needed. A key concern remains, though, about patients delaying critical routine care because of fears over rising cases. Now the hospital is the safest, safest place for anyone to be, and so we are taking all precautions to keep all our patients safe and keep our staff safe. Northern Light also has plans underway to properly store supplies of FDA-approved vaccines that could be delivered to hospitals in Maine in the next several months. Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine.